Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any vehicle having a Hyundai Santa Fe guys. And if you have a Hyundai Santa Fe, you need to test the radiator fan, stay with us and we'll explain how to do that without computers, without anything. All you need is a 12 volt battery from the car and two wires and we'll explain where to apply them and how to test it. Now we'll be demonstrating on a generation, okay, on a fan that's been used from generation uh, 2013 to year 2019, 17, 19, depending on on the market guys but it may work on multiple generation Hyundai Santa Fe so uh, we will explain the concept what controls the fan you have multiple things that can cause the fan not to work and we're going to cover all that as we go make sure you stand to the end because if you do it wrong you can cause damage to the electrical system you can also guys uh, what you can do you can severely hurt yourself so we're going to explain about that as we go now let me introduce you quick to the channel. Every single car we get at the garage, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos, guys. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, if you need to buy any tools or, or parts, guys, to fix your Hyundai Santa Fe or any other car for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our supplies from so with that being said let's explain guys okay how to test the radiator fan so we have the engine completely removed here with the radiator fan the whole assembly that you will find in the Hyundai Santa Fe uh, we have a special video guys on our main YouTube channel how to repair guys that explains how to test the radiator fan with a computer which is super easy and it will tell you hundred percent if it's working or not but if you want to do it manually guys we'll explain how to do that as well so Looking at it now guys, okay, that's your radiator fan. Always keep your fingers away from it when you're testing it because, okay, if you do it guys wrong, okay, if you put your fingers, it will cut them off. You guys have two wires, one coming from the body here that attaches to the radiator fan and you have another one. So you will need to disconnect the fan wire right here that has only two wires. On this side, you will have three wires. Why? Because you have a resistor guys, okay, a radiator fan resistor and that radiator fan resistor can make your fan not to work. What else can make your fan not to work? It could be a bad fan motor, could be a bad cable, could be a bad resistor, it could be guys a bad a bad fuse or a bad relay can cause the fan not to work as well so by testing the fan we can tell if it's good or bad because it could be just the, the resistor that you need to replace guys so how do you guys test it okay let's explain now now here you have two wires usually one of them is all black this is the negative one and the other one will have white or something like that that's a positive one even if you reverse them it's fine it's okay the only problem is that the fan will work in the different direction if you reverse polarity okay instead of going clockwise right uh, we'll go counterclockwise so <clears throat> you need to get two wires make sure you don't touch them together okay because you can burn it keep everything out of it keep your fingers out apply a 12 volt supply and listen So that fan guys, okay, <coughs> that fan is definitely working guys, okay, the problem is not the fan itself, the motor is good, everything is good, so in our case, okay, it's either a relay, fuse or a bad radiator fan resistor, and we have a video that explains how to test the radiator fan resistor, what it's for, and how to test the relay and the fuse, you just replace it and most likely you will fix your problem, and if you have a Hyundai Santa Fe that overheats, that will take care guys have the problem if uh, if the overheating is caused by a bad radiator fan not working so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time